Hi guys, welcome to the Nail Team YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave any comments below if you want to. Thanks very much, bye. Hi everyone, so another tutorial here from me. Um, starting off with NSI's um, Neon Blue and also NSI's Neon Green. So going from the cuticle and then going on to the tip and then just putting a thin wet layer of NSI's Crystal Clear down so that I can get my Neon Matte Green Glitter applied onto there. Nice thin layers when you're working for your design so that when you cap it it doesn't end up too thick. So just using that point of that brush to just manoeuvre that glitter around until I'm happy. And then I can cap this whole nail then with my NSI Crystal Clear. So don't play with your product too much, get it on, move it to where you need it to move to, stroke it very lightly and then let it self level itself. And then you're not having to do too much work when you're filing. Once that nail's finished and it's set, you can file it and pop your top gel on. And then I'm going to do a little bit of 3D work on this nail. So today I'm using my 3D brush from Perfect Nails. It's a size um, 4. There is a smaller one if you want to do smaller work. So this one's a size 4. And I'm using NSI's Winning White. It's a fantastic design powder. It's a really nice, highly pigmented white. And you can make your 3D nice and thin and crisp and sharp. Um, so yeah, fantastic powder for doing 3D. So that's NSI's Winning White. Placing the bead down. Allowing it time to set a little bit and then using the point of my brush to pull that um, spike in that I'm wanting on the flower and then wait for that bead to go from shiny to matte and then get that brush using the belly of your brush, not the point of your brush um, and start moulding those petals out. You don't really want to be using the point of your brush because that's not the strong part of your brush. The belly of your brush is the stronger part. So you use the point of the brush while it's still wet to tease that point in. But then once that product has started to harden, it's more like a Play-Doh consistency, that's when you want to be using the more of the belly of the brush to press and pull that product out and get it into a nice shape. I'm just going to add a little bit of colour now. So going back into my NSI Blue, and just tiny, tiny beads uh, into the centre of that petal and to add a little bit of colour. You can double dip, you can go into your white and then into your blue, but you're obviously not guaranteed to get the blue where you want it when you double dip. So if you want in that blue in a specific place, then do it after. Do it at a separate time to the white rather than double dipping. Just placing my centre bead on now. Again, waiting for that bead to go from shiny to matte before I start moulding. No point doing it while it's shiny. And then just creating a little bit of detail work with the point of my brush in the centre of that flower. So 90 degree angle when you're working in the centre. Just teasing it out until I'm happy with that shape that's there. I'm going to add a couple of leaves now. So again using my NSI Winning White teasing that product out with the point of my brush while it's still nice and movable and wet and then wait for it to turn matte before I start to press. So you can do two at a time if you've got that speed to be able to then go back in um, your salon's not too hot you can do two at a time. In winter you can probably do three. So just getting that nice leaf shape in by using that belly of that brush to press my product out. Tease your point in. Using the point of your brush. And then once you're ready to start moulding, then you use more the belly of the brush. Now again I'm going to add a little bit of colour, this time I'm going to use the neon green to add a little bit of colour to these leaves. 
and all these products are available from www.thenailteam.com. Once that's done and you've finished your design, you don't need to cure it or anything and you don't need to top coat it, that nail's completely finished. Thanks for watching.